time is it? It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Movie review time. Movie review time. Where you at? Where you at? All right, y'all. Yesterday, I just want to talk about this movie because yesterday I was not feeling well. So it was a Netflix binge kind of day. And a new movie that dropped yesterday on Netflix called The Dirt. I did the trailer reaction for it a while ago and I was like, oh, I got to check this out. I didn't realize at the time it was a Netflix movie. I thought it was coming out on in the theaters because, uh, and it's about Motley Crue, right? And it was based, the movie is based off like the book they wrote. Like they wrote, I, I think they wrote this book together because the way the movie was going, like they, they keep having like different members perspectives in the movie. So that what makes me think it was based off the book. So the mo the book probably has like maybe like different sections that either each input in, did input in or something like that. But it was really good. Um, all right. First of all, I'm already into all these biopic movies about, you know, singers of the past. Like I love that Bohemian Rhapsody. I loved it. <laughs> I thought it was really, so they're coming out with all these based off, you know, all these new movies based off the old time singers and stuff. And now this one with Motley Crue. I was into it. I liked it a lot. I, <laughs> I liked, the, first of all, I had already mentioned like the different perspectives. And, and every time they they kind of like narrated it with that perspective. My favorite one was Tommy Lee. Because like out of Motley Crue, who do people know the most? I mean, who I do, Tommy Lee. Because he was married to Heather Locklear, which they showed a little bit of that in the movie. He was married to Pamela Anderson, which they didn't show any of that. I guess that wasn't in the book. Maybe he was married to her at the time when they wrote it. Because I'm not showing the book came out. But um, I really liked it though because like the narration on that time it was him talking, and he's always like, dude, dude. He was like, I shouldn't have was mean. But he was kind of like the dumb one of the group. He was always like, dude, <laughs> and that. And then they had, um, I just what I said, I don't know the other members well, so I liked that I really got to know the other ones. The Nikki Six, is that how you say his name? Nikki Six? Oh, that was sad. Because they showed, like, his story. But his is so sad because, like, as a as a kid, like his mom was had like boyfriends come through, and he like left at a I guess he left at a young age, and he never had that bond. And then when it, he was the kind of one that formed the band, um, got them all together, right? But uh, yeah. So then he like got into drugs, bad and heroin, and his story that was just sad. Crazy part in the movie was like when he OD'd. And then they get them up on, on, the, on the ambulance, right? And they're trying to bring them back, bring them back. And they're sticking, you know, those things from Pulp Fiction. Remember when they took that big needle? It was like, psh, did that. Didn't work. Took another one. Psh. He like jumped up, came back. And you're like, and he's like, okay, this is, I'm on the right track now. So you're like, oh, the, he was near death, hit rock bottom. This is going to make him on the right. He started doing drugs again. I was like, oh, Nikki, come on. <laughs> See, I, maybe y'all know this because I didn't know the story really behind it and the dirt. So I was like, like, this was all new to me. I had no idea. Then they showed, oh, the other guy. What's his name? Mick? Or Nick? No, because I was Nikki and then I think this guy was Mick. He was always the one that was just like, always serious. But even before then, like even before he started or joined the band and stuff, he already talked about, he had like, back problems like his bones were it was I forget the name of it but it's like the spines merging all together so he had like this crazy back and he's always in pain so I was like oh I can understand you always drinking Mick and, and always like mad looking and stuff because you got some serious problems going on like not meant like physically you know and then they had the the guy Vince uh the singer right is that his name Vince y'all know I forget names but uh no, like, and his story was crazy, too, because, like, they were partying and all this. Like, and they, that's what, it was one part of, I mean, I really, like, it stuck out to me is because, I guess, like, their manager or the guy who kind of babysits them, like, on the road and stuff was talking about he went on the road with all kind of, like, bands, right? And these are bands you think are, like, hardcore, like, they partying and stuff, but so he, like, named some that he went over and he's like, but I've never seen some craziness like I did on the road with Motley Crue. 
He was like, they are for real, like out there partying crazy, crazy. <laughs> so they're always showing him drinking and doing drugs and all that. But that Nick, I guess, got in his car accident because he was drunk driving and he killed like one of his friends and he had to go to jail. See, I didn't know none of this stuff. Like it, it, it talked about all this stuff and they had to go to jail. And then he got married and had a kid. The kid, four years old, got cancer. And died. Like that's, oh, it made just so sad. You know what else, when I'm really into something like this, when it's off of like a true, I, I'm Googling it. So I like went and Googled his daughter and like that whole story, what she looked like. And, it, and then when I Googled it, it didn't say in the show, it said like, I think he was suing some kind of dumper, like he bought a house near some kind of radiation, they're dumping radiation. And he blames that on this daughter having cancer because she got some like stomach cancer thing. And I mean, you know, it's rare. So when this rare stuff happens, especially you think of some kind of pollutant and all that stuff. So that was just for me Googling, it wasn't in the show. But, oh, all right, I'm gonna tell y'all one other part because they show, totally talked about like being on the road and touring with Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne, right? And you always think like, all right, he's crazy. Like you can tell, like he has some, he's a, you know, like he had some party and crazy days. I mean, he was, what was he biting heads off rats on stage and like bats and stuff. So, you know, there was this one part. <laughs> I was just like, <sighs> where he was like, I don't want some drugs or give me a bump or something like that. And they were like, so they were torn, but this is like they were at the pool or something, right? And he's like, give me a bump. And they're like, oh, we're out of drugs, man. He's like, give me a straw. No. They gave him a straw. He went on the ground. A line of ants. Ants. I was like, no wonder he can't talk right. You can't understand him now. He's ants. Then if it didn't get crazier, you're like, what is he going to do now? He totally put on stuff, started peeing right there. People are watching. Like, they're fan. They're nice hotels and stuff. Started peeing. You're like, the old ladies are looking. You're like, all right, Ozzy. You, you, all right, we get it. You're crazy. Went down and licked it up. I was like, oh, no. I, I'm done with you, Ozzy. I'm done with you and the crazy. This is too crazy. Uh-uh. You think it can get worse? Yes, it can. He done that. Then I think it, I think it was going to be, I think it was Tommy. Was going like, oh, I can show him up. Pulls out his stuff, which, I mean, I seen the video. He's got big stuff. They didn't talk about it in the movie, but I was just like, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> right? You know. <laughs> they all thought he's got big stuff. That's why Heather and Pam, they were like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but he did the same thing. Peed, right? Peed all there. So like, okay, he's going to try to show him up. Jump down and lick it up. So he finished peeing. What did Ozzy do? Ozzy went, pushed him out the way, then got down and licked up his Tommy stuff. I was like, that that just tells you, like, they they get what drugs will do to you. Oh, look, I'm I'm still I'm getting all nasty thinking about that. But what drugs will do to you? He licked up tight. <sighs> Ozzy. <laughs> anyway, y'all. Oh, was it? I'm sorry. God, beep it. Anyway, y'all, I liked it a lot. I tell you, it's on Netflix now. It's called The Dirt. Check it out. You like those kind of movies about true story, but also like, that's why I said I love the Bohemian. I like I liked Bohemian Rhapsody. Somebody was like, oh, The Dirt's better. Yeah, it's probably more true story, you know, like it gets down. It's from there. I mean, I think they were part of the book, so it's pretty much... From what I hear, like straight from the book, like based off the book really well. So check it out. Let me know what you think. If you've already seen it, let me know. Till next time, y'all know where. Sub thumbs, subscribe, all that. Bye.